Well, so it's the Indianapolis Colts versus sentimental favorites, the New Orleans Saints. What are the odds? Let's get them from Jimmy Vaccaro. He's run sports betting books for venerable Las Vegas institutions, including the Mirage and the former MGM Grand. Las Vegas insiders have called Jimmy the most influential uh, line maker in the last 25 years on a completely random note. Jimmy is a brother of Sonny Vaccaro, who during his tenure at Nike signed Michael Jordan to his first sneaker deal. Jimmy, good to have you on the show. You've been following Super Bowl games for decades now. Is there anything that makes this year's Super Bowl any different from the ones before? Well, obviously, it helps, especially in Nevada, uh, with the down economy that we have right now. I mean, we need a big boost, and there's only about five or six weekends out of the year that can, in, in a sense, rival what we're going to experience the next three or four days as the people start to come to town. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, it's as big as New Year's. It's no doubt that it keeps getting bigger, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, discount that like in another couple of years it will be the biggest weekend that we have here in Nevada. Now, obviously, uh, it's uh, all over the world now, as I was listening to your commercials. Uh, uh, the game has grown in leaps and bounds since the 30-some-odd years I've been here in Nevada booking these types of games. And each year, it, it seems to be getting better. And, and obviously, the game is bigger than the teams. But this year, a little more uh, spice to it with the crowd favorite, the Peyton Manning. But obviously, the sentimental value goes to New Orleans Saints. So I suggest that we'll probably break out of a little of a mini slump. We've been having a few down years as far as volume is concerned with the Super Bowl. But I think this year, we still Snap out of our slump and have a very, very good weekend. Jimmy, let's get to the crux of it. The Colts, the favorite, favorite to win by five to six points. If your money were riding on this, where would you put it? <laughs> Well, you put me in a little bit of a box because I just take the bets. I don't, I, I don't bet them. But, but I think the Colts <laughs> probably outlast them in the end. Uh, I think May, uh, Manning has a little bit too much. Uh, uh, there, there's, there's been a thing if you follow some of the trends, and some of the trends hold up and some of them don't. Uh, when you're first time in, it's real, real hard to win this football game. I think first time in people are actually 3-9 and nine in the last 12 times it's been there. Uh, a little upper hand to the Colts who played in the same stadium three years ago and they won their Super Bowl. They actually stayed in the same hotel. Tell. They have the routine down. And uh, for all the fanfare that the Saints are getting, because obviously the Houdat Nation is standing up, and, and for a lot of good reasons. Uh, it's the first time it has something to cheer about in over 40 years. Uh, 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 but uh, I still think the Colts, only because they showed so well against the Jets in the second half, and the Saints make no mistake about it. They played a little bit lucky getting past the Packers a few weeks ago with a botched uh, interception by far. They could have lost that game very easily. So uh, although I don't know the final score, or I'll give you a prediction. I'll say like 31-20 Colts. All right. Hey, how much money <laughs> normally goes into the sports books for the Super Bowl game? Uh, give us some perspective here. Uh, well, uh, this year we're hoping to get back around the 87 to 90 million dollar mark, and that's just for the state of Nevada. And that probably represents about one percent of what the worldwide hand will be on, on this game, meaning the offshore industry, meaning the uh, all the legal bet shops in in, uh, in in the European countries, and naturally now uh, with everything going on around with the illegal bookmakers, uh, we probably write about one percent of what the total hand will be worldwide on a game like this. But we're hoping to get back to around 90 million dollars for uh, for the gross amount wagered here in the state of Nevada comes Sunday afternoon at 3.30. Jimmy Vaccaro, Lucky's Race and Sportsbook, thank you very much for being on the trade today.